This session is the best thing ever. What? That's out. It feels so weird saying this, but the Indian women are finally playing a test. It's bittersweet, you know. I followed the Indian women's cricket team or just women's cricket in general for it's my fifth year now, and I've never said this statement before, and that's just shocking. And shocking how how easy it was just to go year on year without seeing the women play test matches. It didn't hit me how important it is until it was finally announced that we're going to be playing. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but after two thousand four hundred and one days. The Indian women are back on the field in white, playing a four-day long match. I cannot wait, and I am trying to vlog this experience. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing for me as well. I am doing a bunch of coverage with Women's Cricket Zone and some chats with Women's Cricket Chat post the day as well. Um, I'm just going to take you through my day of watching the Indian women play a test. All right, it is 2:45. I am heading into the women's cricket zone by broadcast. I will see you just before the first ball is bowled. Bye bye. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I think we wrapped up in time as well. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Enjoy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. It's time to watch. All right, I've changed into my jersey and I am off. DRS, come on. No, nothing. It's been an hour and a half since this test has started, and India were wicketless. And my my sister and my dad just left the room, and we just got a wicket. We just got a wicket. So they're obviously they're not allowed back in now. <laughs> it was such a good catch. I loved it. Look at that. We've dropped easier ones, and this one was taken. So I am buzzing. Probably started. A few clouds have come over here now, but none of them are threatening. Some new fans in as well. Sweeps away to a half century. Tabby Beaumont reaches that mark with 99 deliveries. A well paced innings, four boundaries along the way. This session is just taking off like no other. It's the third session. It's like 10:05 p.m. here in India. I am absolutely loving it. The spinners are having a field day. Two reviews lost by the English women. And look, I feel bad for her the night 95, but I will take that wicket any day of the week. And um, oh my God, what is happening? I am absolutely losing it. That's this sick. session is the best thing ever. <laughs> Have we just taken four wickets in the span of like twenty runs? That's unreal. I mean, two fifty is already a a sizable lead and a target. But what is this? What are our spinners doing? It is twelve thirty a.m. Um, at the end of day one, I am getting into a live chat with women's cricket chat. We will wrap up day one, and I will then sleep and get ready for day two. I mean, it's it's really exciting. Without spending too much time, I think um, our spinners did really well today, and it's opened up the test match very, very well for the next couple of days. So let's see how that does. See you tomorrow. Yo, hi everyone. Um, what a wicked first day of the women's test match in Bristol. Welcome to day two. Getting into a broadcast, I had a long night and I suspect there will be a lot of long nights during this test match. I slept at around three o'clock after editing, shooting, a lot of stuff. Woke up at 10, into a broadcast now at three o'clock and yeah, then we go on to the match.
Is it possible? <laughs> what? That's out! Hey! Early wicket. Hmm. Flat line going past, run it into the pad, please. Yeah, there's a spike. Let's have ball track. So, Redfern has had a great record with decisions. This one has ball been challenged. Outside of stump. Alright. Pitching in line. <coughs> Oh. Need to go back on field. Oh. A sigh of relief from now I'm mad. <laughs> well done, Sophia. Thank you. I hope she makes a 50 at least now. So good. So good. Can't even be mad. That was excellent. Come on. <laughs> She's so tall also that her pad is like my waist. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there, kya. Identical to Sophia Dunkley a, a couple of overs back. Going to the grandmother's house to drop some stuff, pick up some stuff, meet her, and say hi to Julie, who has already spotted our car and is waiting for us at the gate. Hi, Julie! Hey, doggo! Hi, Babu, come! Come, come, come! Left hand is India win, right hand is England win. Shake Julie. Oh! oh. <laughs> India win! Woo! Julie predicts it. Come on! Come on! Oh, I got in the beat drop as well. Like it focused on the beat drop. Oh, so it doesn't help. Alright, but what a second session we have had. I did not, honestly did not think that we would go uh, wicketless. Um, it was so good to see the maturity, the patience with which Shofali, who is a 17 year old T20 star, the way she approached the innings, quite amazing. I think uh, the, the England bowlers are a bit frustrated not getting more out of their bowling with the new ball. Yeah, I'm just getting messages saying such a strong session and it's so true. And you know, again, opens the game wide up again. Really, really looking forward to this. So see you in the third session. All right, third session it is about 8.50 p.m. here. 94 run opening stand and uh, without jinxing anything, it's looking fabulous. Alright, Shafali. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Love to see it. <laughs> Oh my god, I might be crying about this test match in two days, but as of this moment, I I feel honored, I feel privileged, and I feel so proud. What a performance. We are back in it. Poor Poonam has been warming up for like five hours now. Alright, Shufali, take your time, no pressure. Oh, no way. No way. Oh my god, Shafali. Oh my god. That's a good catch. Oh man, Shafali, you baller. What a bright catapult start to her test career. This is what I was fearing. 
Pressure started to build, no one's coming from the other end, which none of them had been used to, and it was a little off cutter from Oh, just Cat in front. That was such an Elisa Healy type of face. But good stuff, yeah. Good. Shikha Pande. <gasps> Night watch woman. <laughs> I'm loving this choice, but it's pretty well played, yeah. So, this is obviously how England fans felt about 24 hours ago because this third session has been a tad bit of a nightmare with uh, three wickets in one hour now. Please. No way in hell is this gonna happen. I would not allow it. Oh man, I'm not enjoying this now. Why is the session not ending? I think this is trouble. You've got to be kidding me. Oh shit. Thank the heavens. Thank the Lord above. There is a higher power. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting hysterical. This is ultimate scenes in a test match. About midnight here in India, I am still reeling from that batting collapse we saw a couple of hours ago. Mood is a little bit off. I think we started off so well and with such a great foundation to play a couple of rash shots, to, to get beat by pressure and mentality, which is peak test cricket behavior, I guess. So I'm looking forward to a gritty performance on day 3 but as for day 2, that's a wrap. I just finished a quick chat with Georgie from Women's Cricket Chat, uh, just providing access to cricket, women's cricket coverage. So yeah, see you in day 3, Good night. The game has already started and we've already lost one wicket. Sixteen runs left, one wicket in hand. If this is in peak test cricket, I don't know what is. There's a new ball and Catherine runs on fire. Deepthi is doing quite well, but yaar, pata nahi. Let's see. The most nervous 16 runs, I guess. I will update you soon. Follow on and forced. 8.32 p.m. Uh, batters are stuck in well, rain has uh, come and gone. Let's see how we do. Good afternoon guys, it is day 4. I slept a lot, it is Saturday so I didn't wake up early. But it is about 3.30 p.m. It's about 3.28 actually and um, yeah, I'm all set to go. I'm uh, going to be watching the fourth day. It's very exciting. India playing for a draw, rationally. England might want to push for a win. Um, that's where things will get interesting. If India get out really early, then uh, it could be just a, a dead match and it could end pretty quickly. So I'm hoping for a long drawn game that ends at what? 11 p.m. Indian time. And yeah, I've got... A Little partner watching with me. Nine wickets to get to control the game. All right, it's on. 82 runs ahead. Uh, Julie doesn't really want to look at the screen right now because uh, she predicted an India win, but uh, it's not working out in her favor. So I'm, I'm going to assume she predicted an India series win. And um, yeah, she's going to be my watching partner for the day. Let's get started. She seems pretty chill. Julie? What do you have to say about Shufali and uh, two half centuries on debut, most number of sixes in a game for the women's test matches? Pretty good, right? Okay. That's enough then. Sweet. 
27 balls, promoted to number three. The Indian all-rounder has been more than equal to the task. Trail by six. Yeah, she's done a wonderful job. Lead by one. Weight has been lifted off everyone's chest. Sophie Eccleston takes Mitali shortly after lunch and Poonam Raut is on her way back after Nat Siver got her. Eccleston with the catch. Eccleston now has more wickets than Mitali has runs in this test match. 240, you felt it could have been wrapped up around T and now actually we're seeing boundaries. Third session has just begun and we have managed to get a lead of 101 runs. And uh, yeah, we're inching up to a, a good third session. I hope we can continue this. Okay, quick update. It is 10 or 5 p.m. here. I think there are like 23 overs left. Apparently, the stump mic caught someone saying, Bahut ho gaya, ab maro. And uh, Tanya Bhatt is doing something. Um, we've hit two fours on this over. And uh, yeah, the lead is across 150. Apparently, it looks like whatever happens from now, it will be an it'll end up being a draw. So we wait to see that. But what a what a fight back from the Indians taking it till late in the third session. That is test cricket. Seems like a draw is confirmed, which is a massive massive result for India. But yeah, 15ish overs left. We wait and watch. Incredible scenes, Tanya Bhatia and Sneha Rana. Hang in there. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna get a lot of hugs from their teammates. But yeah, what a what a test match. Ten, around ten overs were left, but they mutually agreed to call it a draw. There was no other solution really or result that was gonna be coming out of this match. Wow. Take a bow, Snerana. And Tanya, of course. Just finished a quick chat with Georgie again from Women's Cricket Chat. You can catch all the videos in, in the description below. For those of you that tuned in for the last few days, you know who we are and what we're about, all about the women's game. I wanted to vlog this experience just so I can go back and remember the first ever India Women's Test Match that I watched live and I managed to cover it as well. Um, quite a special few days here. I feel to some extent the massive partnership we saw at the end between Sneha Rana and Tanya Bhatia could have been avoided if our middle order had showed up and if our seniors had stepped up. So it's, it's a bit bittersweet to see that our tail enders did that but also it should not have come down to that. But at the end of the day, all things said and done, in hindsight, I think morale will be high in the India camp just to have pulled out this draw from an almost certain England win. We have a week's time to prepare for the limited overs. Points are shared, so two points to England, two points to India. We don't mind that going into six more matches based on point system. Uh, let me know how you like this. It is just, I mean, I don't know why you, you'll be even watching till here because it's just something that I wanted to record. But hopefully give you an idea into um, just a fan's life, watching Test Cricket, covering it. Maybe you'd want to watch the next time India women played or England women played or any women's team plays a test match. Hopefully we see more of that and it's streamed much better across the globe. But that's it from me. I want to get down to editing and you will see this when I finish editing. So see you then and do hit the subscribe button if you made it till here. You are one of the three people probably watching this right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button just for me and for you and the two other people who made it till here. And I will see you whenever else I see you. Take care and keep watching sports. Bye-bye.